Hey, y'all. Um, well, here I am again, and uh, I'm happy to say I, I listened to uh, one of my watchmen, and he really encouraged me to relay this message to you. Um, one, I'm in, <laughs> it's spelled Cairo, Georgia, like Cairo, Egypt, and I, I tell you, that's what I feel like. Um, I'm, <laughs> I've gone down into Egypt. <laughs> Um, because, and kicking and screaming. I, I'm just like, I'm just like them. I am. I have whined and complained. <laughs> but anyway, I, I spent too many days. I was there too. Well, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I left this morning. It's Sunday. And now I'm down in Cairo. And this is where I turn west. And I was writing all this down at 6... No, it was 5 o'clock this morning. Because, hello, I got some really good sleep. So, here I am. I'm trying to keep it quick because I heard that y'all only going to listen for the first four minutes. So, I wanted to let you know, I had the best time at Bob and Rosie's. Look. Oh, look. Can you see? Oh, you know what that is? Pecans. Or pecans. According to where you're from. I've always called them pecans. I know some people in the South say pecans, and I did see trees that said, or or actually not trees, uh, what do you call it, an orchard? No, are they an orchard? Anyway, um, that threatened to shoot people if they got them, but Bob said there's pecan trees up there near the road, and if you want some, go get you some. So I did. So I'll be eating pecans all the way across, because I got a bunch of them, Bob. Thank you. <laughs> They're awesome. And look at here. This was a little inheritance. Cindy, I hope you're watching. This was Mama's Nutcracker and Mama's Little Pig. And I use it... Well, I do now. I've been, I've been eating them. They're stuck in my teeth. Anyway, they're really good. I had the funniest trip out of here. And on this journey... And you know what? I just want y'all to know. This is not just a physical journey. This is a spiritual journey. Jesus has sent me out here, and he is sending me across this country to minister. He actually, he actually said to me, not, not verbally, but he showed me. It was, go wash his feet. I was like, oh, please don't send me back over there, and he did. But anyway... <laughs> That's why I've been kicking and screaming. I don't want to go over there. What if there's a earthquake or whatever? All those things that could happen. And multiple, multiple things could happen. And it's all, you know, I'm from the South. I love the South. That's where my babies are. So anyway, speaking of my babies, hey, babies, I got your mail. I got your little letter put in the mail when I was in the town, wherever I was. I think it was called Bronwood, Georgia. And Bob and Rosie. <laughs> my GPS did not work. I got turned around. I got, I had to turn down the road, turn around in the road. Finally got in the right direction. I have made it to Cairo. It took me three hours and it wasn't even, I don't think it was 60 miles, but here's what's happening. I am now getting ready to turn west. I'm north of Tallahassee, Florida, and I am getting ready to go west. To Alabama <laughs> and I love that because the I just saw the um, the motto or the slogan for Alabama is the heart of Dixie oh I wish I was in the land of cotton all times there are not forgotten look away look away look away Dixie land <laughs> and I have seen cotton fields uh, just, and, and Bob told me they call that Georgia snow. And I am so thankful that they got rid of them bow weevils because they would just destroy all the cotton fields. And I just look and I'm almost up five minutes, so I'm going to lose y'all. But I just love y'all. Thank you for following me. And, and you can follow me while I follow Jesus because he is taking good care of me. And every now and then, now and again, he sends a little sign that he's with me. And usually that's in the form of a big old hawk just flying around. And I'm very grateful.
So, y'all have a good day. It's Sunday afternoon. Tomorrow comes the real work. I'm going to be driving on a Monday, not a holiday, and I'm going to be on 84, which looks to be like a highway of some sort. So, we'll see. Anyway, y'all take care. And I'm going to try to post this while I go into Walmart and buy me some water, tea, candles, toilet paper, and bread. Have a good one. Love y'all.